This is Ling Chi, and we are demonstrating brush painting for beginners. And uh, we had a session on the lotus leaf not too long ago. And today we are going to do the flowers. So you can put them two sessions together and make a composition. The two books that I have got an inspiration from, one, this is a collection of all the different artists' um, lotus paintings and doesn't have any instruction, but definitely is a good reference book. And then the, um, uh, the, the text is all in Chinese, but you really don't need the text because they're just introducing different artists. And then has a really good um, uh, that collection of really traditionally old um, style, fine line style, and um, photography of true lotus, and then also um, the how to do uh, the finished artwork. And then the other one probably is a lot more illustration called Drawing Lotus, have different um, steps on doing lotus. And uh, this one is more heavily in the Ling Nan st school style, which is a lot more bolder and less detail oriented. So it's very well regarded and popular in the Western art this club, um, artist. And then also it's probably one of the Chinese brush painting closest to the watercolor style. Today, uh, we are going to honor that particular school called Lin Nan School, and uh, we we'll use a different paper than the raw Xuan paper. And uh, um, the paper I'm using called Dragon Cloud is um, basic, it's mulberry paper with thread going through it. So it's a lot um, forgiving as far as moisture control. So it's really friendly to the beginners who has moisture, moisture control issues. And um, I have done two different uh, examples. One is on this particular paper, which I'm going to demo on. And uh, the other I'm doing on our practice shrimp paper. You can see it's a little lot softer in colors. And um, um, this is a little bit harder to control the moisture, but definitely if you're used to the traditional way of painting, this is a good paper to come from. As far as the brushes, um, I'm using the my lotus leaf brush called Fu Lotus. It's a pretty big brush for flowers. If you uh, have other smaller brushes like large orchid bamboo or uh, flow brush, you can also use those. And then I also have a line brush. And this is our pre-happy dot. You can use happy dot for the center. And then I'm using flow brush for the stain. So those are the three brushes I'm going to use today. The color I'm using is the um, latest, the newer color we are using, which is bright light, a Chinese watercolor on more towards on the economic side. And I have, um, for the flower, I have um, carmine and I also have rouge. And for the center, I have stone green and yellow. And then I also have um, uh, burnt sienna with a little bit ink, but the uh, stain. And then I forgot I need a little bit of uh, vermilion for the center too. which I keep the vermilion pretty thick. All right, so um, 
I will use the happy, uh, pretty happy dot or happy dot to start as the center. The color I'm using is stone green with a little bit yellow. So the, this paper also have a, a things that you can um, go over without leaving harsh mark. This is my center. I'm just going to leave it alone right now. And then with the flower, I'm using a um, combination brush. It's my full lotus. If you don't want a big flower, uh, flower you can use either uh, large flow or happy dog. No, I'm sorry. Large flow or large orchid bamboo. So I'm tipped with carmine. And then I blend. So one of the things I've mentioned to you before, don't load the color too deep. Otherwise, you lose the transparency. And then... So I'm making the three stroke right around the center. And then I start with the, the middle. Here's a little yellow to soften the center. So all these um, can do it seamlessly with this paper because the character of this paper. And then I'm using the flow brush. To soften the brown and the ink.
So in the meantime, I'm using my little um, line brush, Happy Doll or Pre-Happy Doll. And I'm doing the ink. So while we're doing this, I also would like to talk a little bit about the lotus in the cultural traditional way that we think about lotus in the Chinese culture is because the lotus is um, has really long stem coming from the pond's mud and standing up straight. So um, the um, Chinese culture uh, really considered as a holy flower. So you can see like um, the goddess of mercy's um, scu uh, sculpture all, often have the uh, lotus right underneath her foot. And then a lot of people got it mixed up, the lotus with um, water lily, uh, which in so many ways, there's two different characters in water lily and uh, lotus. And uh, uh, we, um, the reason is that you don't want to mix it up with water lily with lotus is water lily has no strong roots, it's floating. So a lot of times they talk about water lily compared to a woman, a street girl, because it's never settled. So you have to be very careful not to get mixed up with those two. So then uh, I wanted to use a very dry ink to accent the center of the the lotus flower. And then we use some straight vermilion, strong, dry. Then we go You don't want to do it too wet, so in my, because I'm demo, so it's hard for me to wait. But in your case, you can wait a little bit later to um, do the, the center on the top. And I would prefer a little bit drier, but because we are doing a demo, so. So see, um, I'm also going to write the word of lotus on the side. So you, when you check on internet, you don't get the water lily uh, character mixed up with lotus because a lot of internet didn't translate correctly. So the lotus character is this way. So I will show you the water lily's character is very different. The water lily is this. Because a lot of internet will translate both character as water, as lotus, but this is lily. So I hope you enjoy today's demo and give it a try. You can also, in um, put the flower and the leaf together uh, from the previous demo. And um, we'll see you next time.